hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm gonna talk about the grips which on my previous videos we talk about the swatch plates and the links which I fixed it on my previous videos uh, today I'm gonna talk about the wooden grips of my helicopter uh, this is the most important part of my helicopter and also is the vital part of the helicopter uh, these grips is fabricated and also amazingly it look nice and smooth and also this is a hardwood uh, because of the lightness of the wood and the strongness of the wood that is why I choose to use this hardwood is strong as balsa wood but this is not balsa wood it's a hardwood it's a very strong wood so and it's recommended for my grips uh, these grips I fabricate the two of the grips for my wooden helicopter which I'm gonna fix it today uh, these are the material I'm going to use for the wood which is for the grips uh, these are the bearing which I talked about on my previous video those are the four bearings I'm gonna use today and also this brass washer I use as my trust bearing this washer they are my trust bearing I use them as a trust bearing and also this uh, the ring nuts I have the ring lock which is the lock rings I use these lock rings for the shafts of the grips and this is the most vital part of the grips which is the lock rings because of its danger it's a very risky mechanisms and it has dangers on its own because of the centrifugal pulleys. Uh, this is the circle lock rings I'm gonna use at the other side and this spring is tightening the tensions of my push rod. This push rod has a bearing at the back and this bearing I also use as a truss bearings and also I have a thick washer which is this thick washer also used as a support to my truss bearings. And this screw I used to lock it with the grips while this other screw I use for the main blades and uh, this is the shafts of the grips this hold the two poles of the grips and here this is where I tighten my lock rings for the grips uh, this is the most amazing parts of this helicopter and the grips is the most vital part of the mechanisms because of its dangers uh, due to the little dangers I experience about the graves which result to some kind of damage on my helicopters and also don't forget to use the safety kits when testing those graves uh, this is my tail graves which I didn't show you how I put my screw, uh, my bearings. The bearings are inside, and I use a, uh, I use the lock rings inside. My camera good. The camera is not that focusing. I don't know what's the problems. Uh, these lock rings, I use lock rings which is E clip. I use clip to lock this because this is for the tails and this is the bearing I use but the main grips I'm gonna use a uh, ring knots which is a ring knot in order to lock the shafts this is the knot here uh, now I'm gonna fix everything step by step my shaft is already on the mirror to of the helicopter but before I'm going to fix this I'm gonna explain some little about these grips and the push route uh, I have on my previous fabrications I have these grips as my uh, this push roots as my push root why I use this this is plastics fiber which I use from my previous video which I explained some little details on this on how i made these plastics and why i use this because it withstands a lot of strength on the wood this is the previous ones i made which it's broken but it also strong and 
I have a not here because here is a variable it has adjust that's why I use the spring to tension the adjustment between the push rod and the swash blade and also this is my previous tail grips which I made this is the tail grips for the swash plates which I made from my previous fabrication and now I updated it to the double grips look at how it is this is the updated ones so this is the ones I use from my previous fabrications which is it looks more lighter but this current one is more strong and has more quality and I also guarantee this than this and uh, also this is the uh, plastic this is a sample of how I fabricate this I glue it together and drill it in a great way is a sample of how I made this push root to look awesome like this and uh, also I have another main grip lock uh, these are my previous main grip locks because I use a method of these tails which is the method I use for the tails as for this which is not good for my main grip so I slide it because when the swash blade is cycling this is have this is having a kind of frictions which I don't really like it uh, now I'm going to fix this grips and I will make sure I fix everything perfectly and this uh, these are the push rods holder which I glue it together but this is very strong and I also add some epoxy but I tested the strength which is very strong and this also are another method of this push rod which I first tested and uh, I realized that it's not that good but it's still strong <laughs> it's very hard enough to be broken I think yeah you can't destroy this easily so all these are replica of my main grips uh, so now I'm gonna fix the main grips so let's start work <laughs> So this is the grips for my channels, which is for my helicopter. Uh, I've coupled the grips. This is the grips with the swash plate. I have mounted the grips of the helicopter. This is the grips for the helicopter. Wow, uh, this is my main grips with the push rods, which the foot push rods. Uh, variable you can adjust the push root and you can also adjust the lever of the push root uh, this is the grips 
for the helicopter and this is the lever I'm holding the servo mount this is the servo mount and uh, my next video I'm going to fix the servos and give some details on the servos uh, for more of my video you can click and subscribe for my next videos for more updates uh, thank you very much for watching have a nice day goodbye